Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am just going to do my makeup while I chit chat with you guys. Um, and I wanted to talk today about receiving mode. So, it has come to my attention that I am not as great as I'd like to be at receiving. And that's receiving love from other people, love from myself, just receiving in general. I'm not going to get into like all of the, the things. Um, but... Yes, it has come to my attention that I'm not very good at that. Let me pause this while I do my eyebrows because I can't do that and talk. Okay, so I'm done with my eyebrows. Um, and I'm not going to be like super fancy today. I'm literally in a very chill mode today. I um, started my feminine flow yesterday and today I just want lots of rest. <laughs> um... But I'm going to take a walk and I have to pick up something. And I figured, why not, you know, look cute, honor myself, feel good. Anyway, <laughs> back to receiving. So, yeah, I am not very good at receiving. And I really thought I was. And I wanted the type of, like, friendships and relationships and things like that where it, it required me to be good at receiving. Um, and the reason I'm mentioning this today, I'm trying to use the last of this. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> I have a white stool that I just spilled this on, so that is cool. Anyway. <laughs> Oh God, that's too much. <sighs> All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> receiving. Um, the reason I'm bringing it up is because I um, have been a part of this membership that has been helping me with my views around money and um in this group there it's mostly women um lots of business owners and successful women who they are learning to um you know run their businesses and make money from a more feminine way instead of a more masculine way for them that's not gonna like burn them out so that's what they're there for. I'm there because I was kind of just lacking masculine containment in my life. What I mean by that is just masculine energy. I wasn't following through with things. I wasn't executing things. I couldn't properly set goals for myself. And... Um, at first, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't fit in here. Like, all these women, they are more successful than me. <laughs> and I was just telling myself all of these stories. Um, but it turns out we both need some of the same lessons. So now we are doing a 21-day challenge where you... <laughs> literally sit there and allow yourself to receive you turn your brain off basically you guys know how in the past I was talking about sitting with yourself and just being it's that and I got out of that habit like after man um I've been out of that habit for maybe like a little less than a year because I've just been so distracted by the human experience like the things that I feel like I'm obligated to do or obligated to have like 
before it was like, oh my gosh, like if I don't put myself out there and try to date people, I'm never going to get married and have babies. And I'm like, I don't even care. Like if it happens, it happens. If not, like that's fine. You know, um, there's no rush. There's no pressure. And then there's some things I, I am not quite ready to share yet because it's not done, <laughs> but, um, I found this new sense of really just living life without having to feel like I'm obligated to do anything. Like I'm not doing things out of obligation, you know? And I'm so blessed that I was brought to this point because it was kind of abrupt uh, the way that it happened. Um, but it was something that I was truly craving in my soul. And I didn't realize this whole time I was kind of like chasing what it is that I am creating for myself right now and what I am, you know, tapping into. Um, but... And usually like on when it's that time of the month for me, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, yes, this is my time to not do anything. Thank goodness. Like I'm so, it was usually because I was doing things I felt that I was obligated to do. And when that time of the month came, I was like, this is my excuse to you know, put down these obligations and to just rest. But the thing is, now that I don't have these obligations, I'm so energized. I have so much more space to like, just do things I want to do. I started painting. I started baking again. Oh my gosh. I just, I dance more. I feel like I am, like there's me the adult me, and then there's like, um, the little kid Jamaica, she's here, she's in here, and then there's teenage Jamaica, she's in here, and then there's like, Jamaica who's like 50 years old, way up there, and we're all just here, <laughs> we're all just vibing, and before, I was so caught up in like, oh, I have to reach this goal and I have to do this and I have to make this amount of money and I have to have this car and I have to blah, blah, blah. I have to look a certain way to attract this type of person. I have to act this way. I have to blah, 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 blah. And I don't feel the need to do that anymore. That, I don't know what that has to do with, um receiving but that wanted to come out um so yeah it's just i i'm so grateful i have so much space in my energy to get back to myself instead of letting things and the adult human experience weigh me down um, in a way where I felt fear and I felt like, oh, I can't um, accomplish certain things because of A, B, C, and D, and E, and F, and G, and H. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, you know, I just feel so silly and fun and it's great. Um, but I noticed today in my meditation and my receiving meditation. So in the challenge, we're only we're required to sit there with ourselves and shut our brains off for a minimum of 15 minutes. Now, since I haven't done this for a little while, not in this way, I, I've meditated, but when I meditate, I tend to want to perfect things about myself so for instance sometimes when I meditate I you know you know I tap into my body and then I notice all the feelings and like the aches and pains and like what feels comfortable 
and I would focus on the aches and pains and I would try to fix them. And then I tell myself, okay, once we fix this ache or pain, then we can, we will be relaxed and yeah, <laughs> we'll be relaxed and then we can receive peace and relaxation once you fix this thing about yourself or um, I'd force myself to breathe deeper like okay you need to do this in order to get here so do it breathe deeper do it this way do it that way you have to be perfect in order to receive relaxation and then a little voice in my head was like, stop, you don't have to be perfect to receive. And even saying that now, I wanna cry. I'm not going to because I just did my under eye makeup, but <laughs> um, it makes me emotional because I didn't realize that for such a long time, I was telling myself that I needed to be better or do better or be this thing or do this thing. I needed to be perfect to be content and at peace and happy and to receive the things that I desire in my life. And in this membership group that I'm telling you about, oh, leave a comment if you want me to share the group that I'm in. Um, I don't want to put the link because I, first of all, it is a paid group, so I highly doubt people would just go in there to like be messy or if they're not really inclined to go in, but just uh, leave me a comment below. I just feel more comfortable that way. Um, so it's not just out there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, or shoot me a message on Instagram. So that way it's just between us. My Instagram is linked in my bio. Or not my bio. My uh, description box. Um, yeah, I... Oh yeah, in this group, you know, sh I lost my train of thought again. In the group, we're relaxing how it is that we receive abundance and money. So like I said earlier, a lot of these ladies are used to like, okay, I have to grind, grind, grind in order to get to this point and then I can relax. Um, and I'm not saying like, all you have to do is meditate. Like, no. <laughs> but um, I joined this group to get the other half of the coin that I was missing. Um, anyway. So she's really trying to help us lean into tapping into the more being open and receptive energy. Because if you're constantly like trying to grind to get to a certain point, <clears throat> at some point you stop listening to your intuition because you take one thing and you run with it and you're like, okay, I have this idea and this is gonna get me to my success. And there might be a little desperation energy in that as well. Like, okay, I'm not good enough until I get here. So I gotta hurry up, I gotta buckle down and do it. Um, but here we're learning like flow, flow with the energies around you. Once you're sitting with yourself, getting to know the way that you think, getting to know the, the way that your body is reacting to the thoughts in your head, it's going to cause you to slow down in your everyday life. And when you slow down in your everyday life, it's easier for you to move and glide with your intuition instead of like, I have to get this thing done so I can be comfortable again. 
if that makes sense. Um, so, I honestly, I thought I was great at receiving, <laughs> but now looking back, I'm like, oh, yeah, no, that's, that's why that, that didn't work out for you. Or like it did, but you like didn't receive it <laughs> and you sabotaged it. I'm like, ooh, okay. <laughs> I got a, got some things to work out. Honestly, there are no things to work out. It's just like accepting that I'm not perfect. And that is just so freeing to me. Like, I even notice when I say that, my whole body just relaxes. It's like the pressure is off of my shoulders. And it's amazing. And uh, I'm just, I don't know. I, I feel like I've just come back into myself in a whole nother way. Um, I feel like I'm unshedding these beliefs around money in a whole nother way because I remember, I remember talking about money in some videos, but not much, but I remember when I lived with Jasmine, my old roommate, um, not too long ago. <laughs> we, I don't mean to put too much of her business out there, but like, we really <laughs> just made money so difficult when we had it. Like, the first maybe three months of us living together we would complain so much about money. We'd freak out. We'd stress about, oh my God, how are we gonna pay rent? When we totally were able to pay rent. Like, <laughs> um, and let me get some earrings. So we would freak out about that. And then she would watch me do the thing that I'm talking about now where I'd take an idea that I thought was aligned with me because it, it sounded fun at the time. I'm like, okay, yeah. I'd take it, I'd take that lovely, fun idea and I'd make it work. I'd make it exactly how you are thinking about the word work right now, whatever you're associating that with. That's how I would think of something that should have been a fun idea that would eventually make me money if I keep nurturing it like it's my baby but I was just like no I need you to be a fully grown adult next week sir <laughs> that's how I was like coming at my beautiful creations I was like all right you need to be done I wasn't enjoying the process of creating it and now I am which is <laughs> not like me because i I don't know. It's, it's just not like me. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I have so many like fun projects and I really, I feel like I've unlocked a whole new level of abundance and prosperity. Prosperity. That's what feels more aligned with this conversation. And it's been very cool. I just feel like the things that I thought mattered so much for so long or the people who I was afraid of disappointing if I didn't live my life a certain way that they would approve of. I just... <sighs> it's really time to put myself first. I just got really fed up with putting other people and their ideas and what they think I should do, how I should live my life, what will get me to the happiest route. 
only I know that. And I know people are just looking out for me. They just want me to be safe. Or they might be looking at me like I'm crazy because they don't have faith in them and themselves and and the universe enough to do what I'm doing right now. To do what I'm doing without fear or like worry or this sense of urgency is what I'm getting at, I guess. Because there is no sense of urgency. Like what? I just, I know I'm protected. I know things are going to work out for me. Um, as long as I'm taking aligned action, they are going to work out how, in my favor, for my highest good. I know that. So what's the rush to get to a certain point? Why is there any urgency? Like, I know I'm going to get there. Or I may not even know what there looks like yet, but I know I'm going to have that ultimate happiness because I feel it now. I, I am. I'm already here, like in the manifestation. It may look a little different in the future as I keep expanding, but genuinely, like I... I'm good. I don't need anything. I don't feel like I need to prove myself or I need to earn love or earn money. I don't need to earn anything. I create what I want. And that's it. So... I love this gloss. This is actually a tinted lip oil. This is by Kiss and Sneak. Isn't that cute? And this is in the shade Dahlia. Aw, you guys can't see that, can you? All right. <laughs> it's focused on my face, but um, it's called Dahlia. I like that name. That's a flower too, I'm pretty sure. And with that, you guys, I am going to go pay rent and I'm going to run my little errand and I'm going to come back home and chill, maybe paint, maybe bake, maybe create. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to do my thing. Um, and on the whole paying rent note, I, <laughs> this sounds so weird. But I'm like excited to pay rent because so this is like the first place. So you guys know I live alone now. Um, I've lived alone before, but this is like the most peaceful place where I lived alone, definitely. And it's the most expensive place I lived alone, which I'm like, mm, love that for me. But I, you know, I'm starting to take more pride and spending more money on myself and not just on like frivolous things because <laughs> I'm getting out of this habit now <laughs> but I would spend most of my money on food and like socializing not even like going out to clubs and bars like that just like I love going to restaurants and like you know taking in the environment and like having a little drinky drink and like little appetizer. I like to treat myself <laughs> to nice meals and drinks and get dressed up and do my hair and go out by myself. Um, but <laughs> I've spent a little too much money on food in the past and I'm like, okay, why don't we like, my cat is like in the litter box right now. Ignore that. But I'm like, okay, why don't we like invest that money into like maybe other things? <laughs> that will last longer than, you know, food or a drink, you know? Um, so 
decorating my apartment. I'm so, oof, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, I still have a lot to do with that and it's so fun. I feel like I'm so excited, like just about life. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, I'm gonna like, before I used to like have this fear or like this weird energy around spending money on things like home decor or shopping for clothes for myself or um, manicures and pedicures. Like, I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, do I want to like really, you know, spend $300 on home decor stuff right now? Like, uh -huh, I don't know. But then I would spend $300 in a weekend going out and treating myself. <laughs> Or I'd spend near that, you know? I'm just like, mm. all right, maybe we should like reevaluate priorities. Not even priorities, but like reevaluate uh, what you consider an investment in yourself. <laughs> okay, with that being said, I'm gonna um, go run my little errands and then, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.